and today I'm going to be showing you the Inkman grill cart. That's right, this is an accessory cart that you can go with your barbecue pit. Some of the features it has is some nice hooks for hanging your utensils on. As you can see, my grill doesn't have a spot for that, so it helps out quite a bit. It is all metal construction with a very nice powder coating. It has wheels and a handle, so you can roll it wherever you need it. The shelf does fold up into place and lock in. So you have an extra shelf or can make your table extra wide for prepping food for your grill. And if you happen to have a gas grill, it even has a bottle holder right here. That way you can hold your propane tank next to your grill. And you can store charcoal and other things down here as well. So a very nice grill cart all around. If it's something you may be interested in, I'm going to go ahead and show you step by step how to put this together. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to put this outdoor dining cart together. You're going to start off with the tabletop and you're going to start off with four legs. And so we're going to attach the four legs with two screws on each corner. So you're going to need two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 16 screws all together. And they're going to go on just like this on the inside corner. So let's go ahead and attach those. And on the plus side, they do provide you a screwdriver. Okay, so we got all four legs put on and we got the handle attached. Now, one thing that you want to pay attention to is the side of the tabletop that the handle goes on, the legs that go on the opposite side have an extra hole on the bottom. And what this is for is for the axle for the wheels so you can roll this around. So if you have the handle on this side, make sure the legs on this side have the holes for the wheels. Just a quick tip, save you some time. And then what we're going to do next is you have these holes right here and we're going to in install these little cross braces that go all the way around. So let's get those put on. Okay, so step two is complete. We added the mid supports all the way around. Now, one thing that came up, some of these little screws are shoulder screws, meaning it's not threaded all the way, it's only threaded halfway. Make sure you're using the ones that are threaded all the way for the first two steps. Now what we're gonna do next is we're going to attach the lower shelf. And this is just simply going to Go right in here and just screw it on. So let's do it. Okay. And now we use another two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 screws and we attach the lower shelf. Step three is complete. So step one was putting the legs on to the top and putting the handle on. Step two, we add the mid rails. Step three, we added the lower shelf. Now we're going to step four. And on step four, you can see these legs are a little lower. And that's because we're going to now put the axle for the rear wheels. And then we're going to go ahead and attach our rear wheels. And then the rear wheels, you have these two little nylock nuts. And then they provide you with two wrenches. And you'll just simply put a wrench on each side and tighten them both down at the same time. Okay, so we got them both tight. You don't want to over tighten them to where they get jammed up and they won't spin, but you want them snug enough too that they're not going to fall off. And then what we're going to do now, is just because I know where these go, you have these little rubber L-shaped pieces, and these are going to go on the front legs opposite of the wheels. Right up here in the front, just like so. Now what we're going to do is we're going to flip the cart over. You see she's sitting nice and level, looking good so far. And on this side, opposite of the handle, we are going to attach our shelf brackets for the folding shelf. And they look something like this. Just so you can see where they go. 
The handles on this side, this is the back side. You have these two lower holes here, and this is where the bracket goes on. Okay, so we have the two shelf brackets on. It's off to the next step we go. Now we're going to actually be attaching the shelf itself. And it's going to go on right here. And those little shoulder bolts that we had earlier that I was telling you about, the ones that have the thread that doesn't go all the way, well, that's where these are going to come in handy. Those are the screws we're going to use to attach this shelf. I'm going to turn this sideways and bring it up a little closer for you because on each bracket on the side you have two holes and on the shelf you have these two slots. You put a shoulder bolt through the shelf on the bottom one then on the top one you just install the shoulder bolt on its own or the shoulder screw I should say like so on both sides and the reason you do that is now when you want to raise the shelf it'll go up over that shoulder screw and then you push the shelf down and lock it into place and then when you want to collapse it you just pop it up just like so on to the next step now for the next step we're going to put this shelf up and we have i'll turn it this way you have two screw holes here and two screw holes here and what you're going to do is you're going to attach this piece right here. I'm using my cordless drill, but you can do it with the provided screwdriver as well. And then we're gonna take the tank hook, because what you can do is you can hook a propane tank on here, and this holds it on the side of the cart. And just like that, we have our tank hook installed up here. We have the base for the tank right there. You can just hook a propane tank on and the cart will hold that as well. You can fold your, your shelf down. You have a super nice handle so you can roll your table around. And you also have these hooks and you can just simply hang them on the front here for your utensils. How cool is that, right? So now you're all set up and you can put a little gas grill on top of here, hook it up to a big propane tank and have a spot for all your utensils. I hope this video helps and thanks for watching.